from Sofia, Bulgaria. He brings a professional record consisting of 11 wins, 26 defeats, one draw, with four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Borislav Zonkov. His opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing white with red and gold and weighed in at 12 stone, nine pounds. Hailing from Carstairs, Scotland, he is undefeated with nine wins. Six of his nine wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Willie the Hurricane Hutchinson. Okay, lads, when I say stop, you stop boxing. When I say break, take a step back. Keep your hands up, protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you both. Well, great to be back in this wonderful arena and good to see once again Willie Hutchinson, just 21 years old, undefeated, as you've heard from our Master of Ceremonies, and somebody who's really Second impressed out, us round one. so far in his professional career. And this tonight, Barry, his first eight-rounder. Yeah, and it's very important whether it goes eight rounds or not. It's it's all about how you train for fights. You know the, the development, how you, how you up your intensity, your work, you know, for the longest duration. If they were to go the distance, so it's all that just experience, that building factor, not just what happens in the ring, but of course what, how you prepare for these tests. Tall lad. We're hoping that he'd be able to fit himself down to super middleweight, 12 stone, but he stands six foot one and you only need to look at him. He's got a big frame and I think the realisation is growing now that his future is likely to lie as a light heavyweight. He weighed into this one over that, round about 12 stone, nine. Big lad he'd be for a 12 stoner, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would be. He's throwing his jab, his beautiful left hand here. And there you go there. Excellent there from Hutchinson. And that jab is not no because there's a bit of weight, a little bit of bit of snap and weight behind that punch. It just it gives him a little bit more space and time to set up another shot or, or mount a real effective attack. Gives him so many options with that solid jab of what to do next. Last time out, he was on the undercard of uh, Daniel Dubois against Nathan Gorman. Looked good beating Janos Perkovic on that card. Willie Hutchinson, oh, oh good right hand. Lovely body shot to finish that combination off again there. Right uppercut, left hook. Zarkov physically doesn't look the match and doesn't look the match technically either. He's been stopped eight times, including against British fighters Adam Etches, Elliot Matthews, Troy Williamson. And it looks very much as though he could be heading for another early exit here because Hutchinson oh. is really piling it on. Well, that right hand really snapped the head back there. He's got his hands up here, but not been able to block anything that Hutchinson throws. He's just punching through that defence. That's lovely there. Just see the little step to the side there, Hutchinson, as he come forward. There's a little change of angle. Going through the gears, lovely here. Nice and sharp. Question's going to be whether or not Zarkov, I think, can get through to the bell to end this round. He's still uh, absorbing everything that's coming towards him, but not offering a great deal back. And referee Lee Every is keeping a close watch. Well, the thing with Zarkov is, without the head movement, he literally is a sitting target, isn't he, here for, for Hutchinson? He needs to get a little bit lower, try and look, roll with the shoulders. Just make Hutchinson look for the target, rather than just know exactly where it is at all times, which is... What's, what's happening right now? I know Willie's trainer, Dominic Ingle, thinks he's got a real talent on his hands here. He's not really being pushed remotely tonight, so you're not seeing him in any way having to show defensive qualities, but he has got an ability to box his way in and to go r through the gears, and he reckons that in four or five years he's going to be right at the top. He may well be. Good first round.
Paul Hutchinson so far, and we can listen in now into the corner where he's with Dominic Ingle. Bing, bing, bang. Bing, bing, bang. That's what you got to do with him. Bring him. He's tight here. So bring him up. Two seconds. Was absolutely one way traffic, Barry. It was, and I know you said you no, know, he's not really giving any touch. test here, but Round he did you no, know, and it, maybe that might be the case, but he didn't give that guy an opportunity to even set his stall out. He went straight out on the offensive with a beautiful jab, and that set everything up, and he just intensified the work as the round went on, and you know, he was unlucky not to get the stoppage maybe there at the end. Planning to get married next month, Willie Hutchinson. Life's a changing. Well, maybe not as clever as we thought he is then. <laughs> Maybe fed up of sharing a flat with uh, Liam Williams. <laughs> well, there's a right hand from Zarkov, which just caught him as a little reminder. Hutchinson looking to tee him up now. Referee having a word with Hutchinson. And also, you can't forget how young he is as well, and you know. And I know he's up against a guy here who's, who's clearly not good enough to can be competitive. Oh. But the way he's going through the gears here and the way you know, he's picking his punches for a young man with showing composure. Got caught there, mind, but for the most part, showing composure. You know, I think it's a good, a good trait that he's showing here for, for a young man at such a young age. Yeah, walked onto a left hand, doesn't want to get too carried away. World youth champion he was back in 2016, turned pro after that, Willie Hutchinson. Basing himself down in Sheffield. He's a Scotsman by birth from Carstairs in Lanark. Asked him whether he was going to go to Sheffield United against Liverpool tomorrow. He looked at me as absolutely gone out. <laughs> I don't think football's his thing. Well, good little combination there. Another good right hand. <laughs> Oh. oh, hello, here we go, he's looking for him now. Just got to maintain that distance, good left hand. Short left hand as he's been clipped by a swinging left himself. And you can see he is happy. His corner telling him to concentrate and stay with the fight. Let's not go for the showboating too soon. Now can he take him out? Well, I think it wasn't so much the par, lovely left, left hook on the top of the head there, and he's... He stopped it, he stopped it, Zarkov doesn't like it, but it's all over, the referee has seen enough, and Lee Every in the second round says that's that. And for me, that's as good as I've seen him. I think, you know, forget about the stoppage as such, forget about the opponent, just the way he set his stall out from, you know, from the, as soon as the first bell rang. Lovely, straight, solid, weighted jab with plenty of snap in it. Just set up all the attacks, give him all that space and time to, to, to look what he was doing, to see what his opponent had or didn't have to offer. And then he went through the gears. I think it was a fantastic display uh, and for a, 21 years of age, John. Yeah, a genuinely exciting young talent, just 21. And you think of Joshua Boazzi and particularly of Anthony Yard. And you look at the talents that we've got here in the UK right now. And here's another one. That's right. And bigger tests are waiting. He's going to be in, in competitive fights. People who hit him back, you know, who, who test him. But... This, this guy was spent by here already, but see, he's going up and down the ladder as well. Body, head, looking for the gaps. Again, there's a nice wrong right hand. Look at the referee, I think, himself thinking that that's enough. And the knockdown was, wasn't so much the power, it was the, the angle he hit him at. Just off balance. He's moving. See, it doesn't look like much there, John, but there's little adjustments. They're moving the feet just to the right, only by an inch. And it's a different angle of where the punch, the punch you can see it come in. I think he just knocked him square, knocked him on the floor. And when he got back up there, the referee was perfect stoppage. He'd taken a hammer for a round and a half. And, and a fantastic display there from young Hutchinson. When he put him down, the reaction as he walked along the ropes spoke volumes. He was delighted. He's an engaging, likeable young fella. And he's produced another eye-catching win tonight. And here, confirming that, is Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, Lee Every, stops the contest as the red corner was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner and still undefeated, Willie the Hurricane Hutchinson. The man who's about to get married gets through his latest professional engagement and makes it 10 out of 10.